Hey guys, my name is Tricia. For those that are new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Today, I want to share three Dollar Tree wall art ideas that I know you could easily make right now. Let's start with the first one, which is a decorative bowl. For this project, you will need one bag of this mesh tube. You will also need a small burner cover. So what we want to do is just put a little bit of glue in the center of the burner cover. Starting with the end of the mesh tube, I'm just going to roll it up. You only need to roll it up about four times. And then we're going to lay it on top of the hot glue. Afterwards, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue on the outer perimeter of the roll that I just created. And then I'm going to turn the burner cover to roll the mesh tube up a little bit more. After the roll covers the hot glue that I already placed on there, you just repeat the same process and add more hot glue and roll it up even more. Once you get beyond the burner cover, what you want to do is add hot glue to the mesh tube. The mesh tube comes in so many different colors at the Dollar Tree. It does not matter what color you choose if you decide to do exactly what I'm doing. Once you finish, it should look something like this. After the glue dried, I sprayed it off camera with a black spray paint. What I want to do is add white acrylic crab paint sporadically throughout the bowl. Then I decided to use my gold metallic pen to fill in the other areas. Once the paint dries, you can hang it on the wall using a push pen and it should look something like this. Here's another wall art idea I want to share with you. For this project, you will need three bundles of yarn if you buy it from the Dollar Tree. You will also need two wooden dowels and an embroidery hoop. And I'm going to use a 12 inch embroidery hoop and it was only $2.59. The way that I'm going to show you, it doesn't matter what size embroidery hoop you have. So what I'm doing is determining how much of the embroidery hoop I would like to cut because I want to create a half circle. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this project online, but I want to share a different way you can do this. To cut the embroidery hoop, I'm just using my Japanese hand saw, but you can also use a hacksaw, which is offered at the Dollar Tree. Afterwards, I added hot glue on the ends of the round dowel, and then I placed it at the end of the half circle. So off camera, I wrapped the yarn around a canvas um, this is just something I had laying around. So whatever you have at home, you can wrap it around that. You want to just make sure that it's the length you want the yarn to be. Now I'm going to cut the yarn using fabric scissors. Now I'm just going to place the yarn on top of the wooden dowel. Once it's on there, just spread it out. If you find that the yarn looks scarce when it's on the dowel, add more yarn. To straighten everything out, I just combed my finger through the yarn. Okay, I need to extend the round dowel that I have. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of um, a piece of another dowel and attach it to the end. And I'm sure a lot of you might not want to do that. So what you could do is take the eraser off of a pencil and glue it to the end as another alternative. After you do that, you want to place hot glue on both ends of that round dowel and stick it on top of the yarn. Once the glue dries, you want to add more hot glue on both sides of that dowel. What I'm doing here is just making sure that the yarn does not go anywhere. 
Um, you don't have to do this step, but if you don't, I believe the yarn will slip easily. I decided to make the yarn curved at the end. So I'm using the other embroidery hoop as my guide to ensure that I am making the shape curved. I purchased some cork fabric from Walmart a while ago and I decided to use it for this project. I didn't want to leave it as is so I went outside and sprayed it with a gold metallic spray paint and I just love how it turned out. Next I'm going to glue the fabric to the front of a piece of foam board that I cut out in the same shape. By the way guys I do not like the fact that there is a crease in there but I'm hoping it's going to come out. So I am going to take my gold metallic pen and I'm going to go around the side of the foam board just so that we can make everything cohesive and it can be gold. And I did this also to the embroidery hoop. The next step is to glue the foam board on the top of the embroidery hoop. Once you're finished, you're ready to hang it on the wall. And this is how it should turn out. And here is the last idea I have for you, and it's the easiest. So Dollar Tree has this round bicycle wreath that they're now selling. Um, so I don't know if you have it in your store, but if you have it, this is a quick way of making that starburst mirror. So here's how to do it. All we want to do is get rid of the outer perimeter. So I'm just gonna take my wire cutters and clip the ends. Now take it outside to a well ventilated area and spray it with whatever color you would like. For me, I use the gold metallic spray paint. Now that the paint has dried, I'm going to add hot glue to the center. And then I center the mirror on top. Afterwards, I flipped it over and added more hot glue on the back. This is going to add more security. Once you finish, add a command strip on the back and hang it on the wall. And this is how it should turn out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below which one do you like the best. And until next time, have a great week.